Okay, so here's a rational function f of x equals 4x plus 36 over 2x minus 6, and it says state the y-intercept. So we can begin by letting x equal 0. And if you're wondering why that's the case, well, any y-intercept um, has to go through the y-axis, meaning the x-coordinate is 0. So it has to be 0 and some number is what we're looking for. Okay, so if you let x equal 0, we have... Um, and we can rewrite this as y if it's easier for you. Okay, so we have y equals 4 times 0 plus 36 over 2 times 0 minus 6. And this just reduces to 36 divided by negative 6, which is negative 6. Okay, so the y-intercept is just negative 6. Okay, and the next question is state the coordinates of the x-intercept. Well, it's similar to the other one, but we're going the other way. So we let y equal 0, okay, or f of x equals 0, okay. So that would be 0 equals 4x plus 36 over 2x minus 6. Okay, so now we have to solve. Uh, we can multiply both sides by 2x minus 6, okay. And let's just maybe show it this way. Okay, and if we do it to both sides, well, this will still be 0, and this would cancel on this side. So 0 times this is 0, and 4x plus 36. Okay, and solving for this, we'll just subtract 36 from both sides, divide by 4 on both sides, and we get this, okay? But in this case, what's different than the previous example is to state the coordinates. So the coordinates of the x-intercept is actually negative 9 and 0. So we have to explicitly state that this time. Another question, state the equation of the vertical asymptote. Okay, in this case, we let the denominator um, equal 0. Um, that works out here because the exponents both are, um, the degree is both 1 in the numerator and denominator, so that would work. So we can say 2x minus 6 equals 0, and that's 2x equals 6, so x equals 3. Okay, so this is the equation of the vertical asymptote. For an equation, um, we need to have it as x equals 3. You can't just say the number three, that, that would not suffice. You have to state this, okay? And lastly, state the equation of the horizontal asymptote. Okay, well, in this case, um, there's a couple ways you can do this. Since the degrees of the exponents are both the same, um, in this case, you can take the coefficients of the four and two and just divide them, okay? And that's the equation, so y equals two is the equation of the horizontal asymptote. Um, another way to approach this question, though, is to simply understand that this function is approaching a value as you keep on getting bigger or smaller. So, for example, if you say um, the limit as x approaches like infinity, but let's just say um, a really big number, like 1 million, okay? So just think about as... And if you haven't seen this notation, that's okay. Like, don't worry about that. But it's just thinking about what happens as... Let's actually not worry about the notation. What happens is x approaches a million or a billion, okay? And if we substitute that number in, you, you should see that we would have like 4 million plus 36 over 2 million minus 6, okay? So we substituted that number in, and we should hopefully be able to realize that this plus 36 and the minus 6 here don't really do much to the equation. So it would approximately equal... Um, 4 million divided by 2 million, which is 2. So that's a quick way to kind of understand it a little bit more intuitively what's happening. Okay, um, and the last thing I just want to show you is a graph of this. Okay, so remember we said to state the y-intercept, we let x equal 0. Well, let's just see how that looks. And I'll bring this over one moment. Okay. Sorry about that, there we go. And you can see here the x-intercept, okay, um, is negative nine, zero. You can see that the y-coordinate, okay, so for the x-intercept, the y-coordinate is zero, and that's why we let y equal zero, okay? So don't just memorize it, understand it, let y equal zero. And you could do the reverse process to understand the same thing with the um, with the y-intercept. Okay, let the x-coordinate zero, so just let x equal zero. Okay, and the asymptotes, if you were to graph it, you should draw 
a dotted line um, to represent that, but the question was not asking for that. Okay, so that's that.